welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're going to do a video today all about baby toys, aren't we? Yeah! And what are our favourite baby toys? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you all of Odin's favourite baby toys that he's been using pretty much since sort of a few weeks old. Um, and that are probably going to last him until he's about one or just over. And he's desperate to get going. So let's get into the video. First of all, our favourite thing that we've used for Renea and for Odin yeah. have been books, haven't they? Yeah. The That's Not My Books, they're so good. You've literally only just given them to Odin, haven't you now? Yeah. Um, you have about eight of them, I think, somewhere. Um, and yeah, she's only just given them to Odin, but she still sits and reads them, so they've been worth the money. Um, I think in Tesco you can get them two for seven pound and Asda. Um, but they've got all the like sort of touchy feely bits, haven't they? All the silky bits and the rough bits. Um, so they're really good. So that was a great first Christmas present or birthday present. Um, not birthday, birth present um, for wow. someone if they're having a baby. Um, Cause these books are so good and they're so like, they're yeah. hard, so they last for ages. Yeah. These are in amazing condition still and they've been used for two babies. Oh, oh yeah, and Odin got given this one, didn't he, for his christening? A Gruffalo book, so another touchy feely book, is a really yeah. good one, isn't it? And it's got hairy. It, it's got hairy. Yeah, yeah. So that's the oh first my one. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a manic video. I'm really sorry. <laughs> right, why don't they sit over there? Yeah. That's it. And Odie sit here. <laughs> um, our second favourite baby oh. toy has been oh. this cube. It's got tinsel on it because we've been playing with it. Um, so it's got lots of different bits on it, like an activity cube. You can get wooden ones of these or um, factory ones. This one my sister gave to me. They're like £30. So um, get a second hand one, all the wooden ones are really good. Um, but he loves this. He'll sit and play with this for ages while I'm getting ready or whatever. Another great baby um, toy is a mirror. They are great, um, they just love look, looking in them. I think Odin started laughing at himself in it at about 10, 11 weeks, he loves it. Um, he's not that phased by it now, but as like a little baby when he's in his tummy time, this is great to prop up on his play mats. It's a really good one. The, I don't know how you say it, the LeMay's toys. These are really good. Um, they've got lots of little bits of teething on them, got a rattle in them, and they're like squishy, and got like sensory bits on them. And this one's got a little, and they're all just, they're really good sensory toys. Clip them onto his pram or his car seat whenever we're out. These are great if you're out for dinner or something, just to keep baby occupied. Um, so this, this brand is really good, so I recommend them. He loves them, don't you, Bubs? They, the kids are just going mad, I'm just getting all the toys out. They're like, what is going on? The favourite toys, this is Renee. She got the givenness to her for her first Christmas. Yes, It's a Fisher yes. Price one, I think. Yeah, Fisher Price, it's got the duck in it. Um, and the water. And no, open it. No, you, you can't open it. They've both just—they've both been mesmerised by this. Um, they just, it's obviously musical toys. This one is a baby sensory rattle. Renee got it. Yeah, we love them. Yeah. Renee got given this one a baby sensory class, and they both yeah. used it. And then this one, obviously musical. We both love them. I'm gonna get him a water. No, a wave drum. They have they like they got beads in them. They're like flat and a tambourine for Christmas. He really likes them whenever we go to like little baby groups and stuff. Uh, next up is sensory toys. These are amazing from birth. <laughs> um, a sensory scar. Obviously, um, keep an eye on baby while you're doing it. Um, these are like two pound on eBay. Really good. You can get loads of them. I'm gonna get him some more from the stocking for Christmas. And a foil blanket. These are amazing. They are to open up. And all the babies love them. And um, they are about two pound as well. You keep out the way, darling. I can't see. Let me. Um, yeah, the foil blankets. If you just type them on eBay or Amazon, they're really cheap. Great stock and filler for baby if you've got a really little baby this year. Um, fill them with a bit of water and a bit of Milton, um, sterilising liquid so they don't go murky. Um, and just, yeah, they are so cool. And then this one's got glitter in it, hasn't it? Yeah, glitter. glitter blue, by the way. Yeah, blue. And it's a bit of water. I don't know if real on my Instagram, so if you look on my Instagram, you can see the real. And that one's little things and then once that one 
Yeah. Rice. This is a little musical one, isn't it? They're so cool, aren't they? Yeah. Odie loves them. Mm. So that's a good mm -hmm. idea. His teething toys. We want to get him the draft because everyone raves about the draft and I think he'll like the draft. Um, but this is the newbie shark and he loves it. Renea had this. My sister got it for them. Um, um, well, Renea. And it's got the grooves on it. He literally just sits there like going for it. And then the newbie teething ring. That's really good for his teeth. He thought it was really good. Um, Renea probably figured this out about 10, 10 to 12 months to start playing with this. So it's a bit of an older toy. But at the minute he just sits with the bucket and plays with the bucket. Um, so it's still a good toy for a baby. But my sister's gonna get him a new one for Christmas because this lid keeps popping off. It's not very good when they're sat trying to play with it. Um, but I think both kids have used this. No, both my nieces and Renee have used this as last of ages. Um, but that one's really good for them just to figure out like the shapes and how to put it all in. It's like quite a hot hour. This one's really good. Renee will give this for her first Christmas. Um, got all the balls in it. Look, you can put the balls down. Shape out the way then. Please. This one, he's not really obviously knows how to do this yet, but he loves watching it. And Renee still loves playing with it. So this one's a really good one up until they're like two. Um, but he'll probably start figuring that. I think Renee figured that one out about nine, ten months when she was crawling. In the um, like the Duplo and the Mega Blocks for older kids. Renee's got them. But these ones are like squishy blocks. I can't remember what they're called. I'll try to find them and link them below. Um, oh, they got them on there. I'll try to find them and link them below. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. But they're really good for like now. He teased them and then he'll see gradually learn to build bricks. They're really good. And then we've got balls. These balls are really good. They're all different. This one's like a foamy one. They've got rattle in it. This one sings and makes noise that Mr. Tumble does. Quite annoying. <laughs> And um, this one's good for like gripping. And then all these ones are like little different sensory balls. Um, they've all got different textures. Yeah, and got grasps for them to hold. That one's cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, these are great. Lots of different sizes and stuff. Lots of variety there. He loves all of these. Another great one is these little eggs. Um, they are from six months onwards, I think. Renee had these um, for her first Christmas present. Um, the only thing is I do supervise them at all times with these because I've seen the thing on Facebook that a baby put that in their mouth and choked. I don't really understand how, but um, yeah, I always supervise them. So yeah, these are great. Um, they squidge, he just loves playing, but he gets them in and out of the box and throws the box about. Excuse him, he's just had um, dinner. This is um, Odin's mat that he sits on and plays on um, usually. Um, it's massive. It's um, from eBay. It opens up like that. It's huge. Um, usually I open it up like that and they just put all their toys on it. But it's double sided. It's really sweet. Um, I think it was like, it was definitely under £10. I'll link it below. <laughs> but it's really good for when they learn to sit because at least they've got something to sit on when you get rid of their little play mats they have as babies there's like nowhere for them to sit so this is really good are you eating your mat <laughs> are you eating the mat oh peekaboo peekaboo this one is odin's water mat his pack mat you want to sit and play on that one bubba he loves this um he's been playing on this since about again four or five weeks old doing like tummy time and stuff and now he's just yeah he's obsessed with it. even Renee likes it I think this cost me about five pound on eBay um so this one's really cool they love just chasing the shapes I'm surprised it hasn't burst yet the amount Renee jumps on it what's inside what what's inside it water so yeah just type in pat mat on ebay or amazon um this will be a really good present if you've got like a baby that's just been born a couple weeks old um and it will last them till well she's nearly three so <laughs> it's cool isn't it that yeah. odie's trying to get all the shapes this is odin's treasure basket we've done him he's got a little pastry brush a nail brush um spoon wooden spoon um a little sieve a bath sponge one of my um little cloths is clean don't worry um and a cup from the kitchen and this is just for him to play with, just random objects. 
um they love stuff like this so i give this to him every time well i've only just made it but i give him things like this um when i'm cooking if he's in the kitchen with me um just so it distracts him whilst i'm doing bits um that i need to do so he doesn't get burnt and stuff um because it's really hard when he wants to be cuddled and i've got to get on with jobs but this keeps him really happy or he plays with this while i'm getting ready so make your little one a little treasure basket of really random safe things in boxy keep an eye on them whilst they're doing it um and i'll just sit and play What's that one? But let them kind of explore themselves. And our last favourite toy, this is the best one of all, the jumperoo. <laughs> wow. Let him jump then, Naya. <laughs> He's been in this one since about five and a half to six months so you don't need this until the baby's about six months i'd yeah, say he does, like he does like it it's got three different settings lots of different toys um they do loads of different ones of this so yeah as i said this one's got lots of different settings lots of different activities on it and he'll go in this for i'd say max about 20 minutes at a time he does really like this one um we got this one second hand for 20 pound i think um but i think they're about 80 to 90 pound to buy you can get loads of different ones with like the feet on the bottom or like without with the jump in but we chose this instead of a walker just because i think they get a bit annoyed in the walker because they're walking everywhere and then it gets trapped so this just sort of they can just bounce in front of the TV and stuff. Um, but I feel like you definitely need something like this or a walker or something for a six month old because they get a bit bored on the floor. Um, so yeah, definitely get one of these. Oh, we got a tired Paulie Bubba. It's got a bit of a cough. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed all of our um, little toys. It was very loud. Sorry if you couldn't even hear me. Um, that was just our house. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed all the toys that we've got. Um, and I gave you a few little ideas if you've got a baby and they're bored of their toys or you don't have many toys. They're not really expensive and some of them have been given second hand from family and charity shops and stuff um so don't waste your money on really expensive things you don't really need to um but this stuff will last them probably max until they're like 18 months i'd say um and odin started using all these bits well most of these bits are about four weeks old on his play mat um so yeah you'll need like a play mat a jumper is like your big things and a bouncer i'd say um and then all the little toys just for them to have fun yeah.